Going through these doors, this building seems like any other ordinary office. But what goes on beyond the entrance is of very deep importance. The software and machinery cannot be found anywhere else in the country. Learning institutions, academics and private companies depend on this establishment for accurate, fast and extensive research. The center is a infrastructure of its own kind and is one of the largest infrastructure HPC in Africa. So the aim is to support the academics, which means we are working with the universities and the university researchers or scientists are accessing the center for free because it's funded by the government department. And then the kind of the research that we are supporting the researchers or the users is in different fields because we've got astronomy, we've got ke uh, chemistry, we've got uh, life sciences. There are different fields that the center is enabling the Southern researchers community to perform their different areas of research. Running under the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the Center for High Performance Computing conducts different research programs. In the past, if a client wished to do research in big volumes, they would have had to travel overseas and get the results months later. Now, with sophisticated computing provided here, works of the same size could be returned in just under a week. We have um, people who deal with minerals processing, so um, it can be very costly to process minerals in certain ways, and it can be very expensive to do the experiments to figure out how to improve those processes. So what you can do is you can simulate what's going on, and then you basically do the experiments in the computer and find out if maybe you can save a lot of power by um, processing minerals in a different way. So um, there are people who are modeling batteries, um, in medicine, there are a lot of applications that we have here. So, for example, we managed to speed up the, um, Im we, there were these brain images that, that um, were being processed very slowly and we were able to, using high performance computing, to speed up that process. Also in um, the spread of infectious diseases, we, we work on, in, in bioinformatics field. Rated among 500 of its kind globally, it seems to be in high demand in our part of the world. At the moment, the system is pretty oversubscribed. It's quite hard, even if you have a really good research program, to get the amount of time that you need on the, com on the computer. So definitely, yeah, Im improving the research facilities and just de developing on our training programs. I mean, I think what we have in place is, is nice, but we could do more if with more resources. But it is without any doubt that the vision and success of this facility will be carried forward by those who follow behind with the love and passion for the field. The main attraction uh, for this job is that I get to work and study my masters at the same time and particularly on interesting uh, research like on high performance computing and how it's necessary for for within uh, different disciplines like the SK project and other research problems that are here in South Africa. We don't have many qualified engineers to to be active within the SK project and is one of the biggest science projects we have here in South Africa and there's a great need for skills and development in that area. I get to work on an interesting project that can help me develop my own skill set so I'd be more competent in that when the, as, as the project uh, develops. Nunduzo Jamini, SABC News in Cape Town.